don't have a book review for you today except it's not a book I read it's a book he read and I'm only in the video to make him feel better yeah things I do for you anyway um so Shannon ordered this for me it's called fence this is volume one I'll hold it up um, okay I was gonna... I'm helping um it's written by C.S. Pakat I think and uh the uh, artist is Johanna the Mad. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I heard the name Johanna, but it was in a heavy metal song, so. Who's uh, Joanna La Fuente? Who's, what wait, did she what? do? Where? I don't know yet. Um, she did something. Hold on. It's usually like on a title page. It's like Shannon Pye or Pay was also a, an artist for this. Kevin Wada, they did alternate covers. Um, I don't know. Let me, can I look yeah. real quick? But anyway, it's colors. Okay, oh. written by C. S. Picot, illustrated by Johanna the Mad, colors by John La Fuente, letters by Jim Campbell. So here you go. I usually hold them up for like the whole video. Uh, so, uh, main character is named Nicholas. He's a... Uh... Wait, will this video have spoilers? No. Oh, okay. Mine usually do, because I can't do a review without spoilers. Um, main character's name is Nicholas. He's a, uh, he's a fencer that got into it because his father, who he never knew, because, uh, he's, uh, basically, he's the product of a one-night stand, is what's insinuated. Uh, he gets into fencing and this kind of uh, grubby fencing style that honestly kind of reminded me of the gym from the first Rocky movie. It was kind of cool. And he um, he gets a scholarship to a really awesome school uh, for fencing, uh, but they've never won a tournament, so he's wanting to get on the team. But along the way, he meets this uh, champion named uh, Seiji uh, I believe it's Nakayama. Here's what the art looks like, by the way. If you're curious, it's a thing you do when you review graphic novels. Here you Katayama. Go. Seiji Katayama. Um, and he's soundly beaten by him, so he uh, develops a rivalry with him. But when he gets to school, he realizes he's Seiji's roommate. So it's about him trying to make the team as a freshman, which has never really happened. Um, well, it's never happened in the history of that school. And uh, he wants to get on the team for a chance to have a rematch with Seiji on his own terms and also to uh, have a shot at winning their school's first championship in a fencing tournament. Now I don't really know much about modern sport fencing. Um, you almost sent my favorite bookmark back to the library. Oh, the one I made for you. I'm sorry. Um, it's a good thing I had you do a review then, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. I don't really know much about modern sport fencing except what I've, I've read. I've never really gotten to do it, aside from a brief bit with Saber. Um, I learned how to use stuff like this, and this, so, um, I do know that um, there's three weapons, and there's a, a right-of-way rule with, a, with two of them, Foil and Saber, but they use Epe in this, which is actually descended from the Dueling Sword. It's a basically a it's a dueling small sword like the type that um uh, like the three musk um not the three musketeers but like uh okay. kind of monte cristo okay. that year 19th century dueling swords uh made safe it's blunt it's and it's flexible and it was basically invented as a way to say, uh, you guys need to stop killing each other, you need to stop drawing blood, and it kind of grew from there as a, uh, to remain a dueling sword, but in a safe sense. It's the weapon in fencing, if I ever got into it, that I'd want to use. The whole body's a target, there's no right-of-way rule, which means, uh, right-of-way basically is, you're only allowed, your attacks only count if you have parried an attack first and then moved in. So how does all this relate back to the book? Oh, it's about epee fencing, and they really get into that that particular weapon. 
Uh, they get into the technique of it, how it's got a very wide guard to to guard the forearm, because uh, Nicholas has bad technique with that. He keeps his wrist bent, he doesn't keep his forearm behind it, and he learns how to fence properly from the coach. And she really goes into detail, and the aspects of that really come into play in the duels. He's getting hit in the leg, he's, he's uh, basically getting dominated based on the specific rules for Epe, and it's hard to explain, but, uh, yeah, I liked it. It really was written by people that love fencing, a really good artist, and pretty good writers. It's very formulaic. It's definitely very uh, Japanese manga style, you know, you got hero meets rival, wants, wants to have a rematch with rival, it reminded me of, like, Hajime no Ippo or something, but it's really quite good for what it is. So. What did you think of the art? That's good. Um, Charity showed uh, some of it, but you can see here it's kind of a it's sort of hybrid style between Western and uh, Japanese style. Um, very colorful, very well drawn, very well colored. Uh, the words are very clear, easy to read. Uh, yeah. So, how many stars would you give it? Four out of five. It's really good for what it is, but it's still very formulaic. Hopefully volume two will be better. Yeah, I mean, it's not like this is bad by any means. So. A lot of times the first one in a graphic novel series um, is just starting out and it has to set everything so it's not as good as the second. It's not nearly as bad as the first volume of Berserk. Oh my, that takes a while to set up. Okay, so have you got <laughs> any finishing final thoughts? Uh, Nope. Okay, you know how to end it. You know how I normally end my videos. Um, do you got any comments, questions, whatever you'd like to discuss? If you've read it, or if you have any specific questions about other parts of it I haven't talked about, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Uh, love to reply. Uh, otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And, uh, well, see ya.